Good afternoon. My name is Marco Hain and I'm founder of the Help the Oceans. Welcome back. It has been a long time since I've been in live and since made it up any updates on our current situation here. Having said that one, it's been a time that any public news or media organization has been talking anything about the ocean plastic in the last, let's say, about five to six years. Why is that? Well, that's a simple thing. They just avoid to talk about it as typical political or politician's life is avoiding any kind of conversations where they have no any kind of escape routes. So today we talk about something in uh, not so well covered issues in what has happened actually on, on, the, on the world in the last, oh, let's say about 50 years. Yeah, 50 years is a long, long time. And some of you over there, unfortunately, you are seeing all everything since you were born. So let's go through in a few of the things in what you might or might not know what is actually happening every single second when I'm talking here and you're listening over there. So since in 1950s, 1950s, where we are now, 2021, that's a long time ago. Yeah, 71 years. Around 8.3 billion tons of plastic has been produced worldwide. How actually large amount of is 8.3 billion tons? That's a lot. I mean, if you think about anything in the maritime organization, in um, we have a so-called VLCC tankers. Those can be up to the about four, five hundred meters long and about sixty meters wide. They actually carry about four hundred thousand tons of. Uh, crude oil or any kind of liquid for 500,000 tons. That's a lot of less than 8.3 billion tons. So you get some kind of idea. It is a large amount of plastic has been done. And of course, while we're talking, while I'm talking, while you're listening, the plastic has been made. In this part, we go through now in the, just a little briefly, but then later on I'm going to talk about a little bit in details as the, some part of the world using the plastic is already illegal. What are those countries? i come back in that one for the later. In, in the, but there is actually a large amount of countries, if I remember right, there is a 16 countries in total at this point, might be more, which is, if you know, there is more countries where the using the plastic is illegal, please let me know. 73% of beads litter worldwide is plastic. All the beaches, all the people, most of the people in uh, who are traveling around on their vacations or they're traveling around and exploring. They like to go into the beaches. And, well, quite many of them, they are basically ended up passing by or seeing or collecting plastic, which is on the beach. That is a fact. Well, a million plastic bottles are bought around every minute around the world. A million. A million is a large amount again. You can imagine every minute, even if I keep this one in about 10 minutes, so that would be approximately about 10 million plastic bottles are bought around the world in every minute. 10 million within the 10 minutes. At a large amount. Worldwide, about 2 million plastic bags are used every minute. 
mm, now we come to the since one million per minute now we come to about two million plastic bags are used in every minute so basically if i keep this one again in the 10 minutes that would be well 20 million plastic bags that's a large that's a huge amount of plastic bags then comes to something in what many people actually don't like to hear especially on those countries which are this which this fact actually involving as some of those countries they try to do or like to do something uh, avoid to public know it or blocking those people who are actually doing it but they haven't done so much because the 90 percent of plastic polluting our oceans is carried by just 10 rivers 10 rivers i think i have a 10 fingers still yeah i still have a 10 fingers so as the if you remember going back to the how large is actually our oceans you know that we all living on the this ball which we call it as uh, earth earth is a ball it doesn't matter all days they said it that's a flat but it's not flat it is a ball so 70 percent of this ball where we're living is oceans where does the 7.8 billion people i think it's now in about 7.9 billion people where they fit because about 70 percent of this our earth is oceans so really make it about 25 percent of the earth place where the actually we humans can put our feet on the let's say on the ground it would be a proud probably about 25 percent of the land of the earth is covered by 7.9 billion people because 70 percent of the earth is covered by oceans and we humans actually we are polluting oceans which is covered 70 percent of our globe our ball our earth plastic actually is killing more than 1.1 million seabirds and animals every year 1.1 million seabirds yeah we all know that there's a lot of lot of seabirds but the plastic, what we humans actually producing, what we carrying, what we polluting, what we actually producing, is basically, could I say it? It's actually, it's not the weapon, but it is the system, which is basically mass murdering of the seabirds and animals. If you, if it if it kills in 1.1 million seabirds in every year that is the mass murder you like it or not that's how it is the average person eats 70,000 microplastic each year you me all 7.9 billion humans in this world We eat microplastic. Where does that come from? That comes from the plastic what is made in the factories. What is killing about 1 million plus seabirds, animals, every year. So, again in the facts on those ones, and would you like to eat the plastic? Do you like to eat it? What, how it tastes? Is it taste spicy, salty, no taste? 
Does it taste plastic? It does. And you eat it. I don't like to eat it, but, well, if the facts say that we all humans, we're eating 70,000 microplastics every year, we do eat that one. One way or the other. We like it or not. This one is actually, the next one is really, really funny because this is statistic facts. Again, the average time that the plastic bag is used for is 12 minutes. One plastic bag. When you get the plastic bag, you go shopping, you get the plastic bag, you use it that one, 12 minutes. And then you throw it away. 12 minutes. Thank you. Well, over the past 50 years, well, plastic production has doubled. And this one is actually something in the, which is actually, I would say it's triple. And it's getting bigger and bigger in every year. Because plastic production is something in uh, what the world is actually needed for the carrying, for the covering. Well, that's how it is. There's a lot of people, a lot of really bright and smart people around the world who actually try to create in them other kind of bags, which are made it example for them. As far as I know, in the seaweed, they make it up in the seaweed bags, which are, of course, made it in the seaweed. There's a lot of other people who try to make in some other type of the packing system, which are not made it in the plastics. Why those, those don't get so much coverage? Who knows? But let's go back to those countries in where the actually plastic is. Using on the plastic is illegal. Just a simple thing, and there's about 16 of them. Kenya is one. Africa, really good one. Where is Vanuatu? Any idea where is Vanuatu? Really close to the Hawaii, that area. United Kingdom, Taiwan. That one is actually something what I would like to challenge on that one. As the Taiwanese, they want to be an independent, but they never managed to do that one. As a Chinese government, actually, they do all the power what they have to keep them under their thumb and pushing and moving them as a... They are just part of the Chinese community. Even they want to be an independent. And I wish all the good luck for the Taiwan to be an independent country. One day, hopefully. Zimbabwe. Master, I have mail for you. Zimbabwe actually had something in a very interesting going in many, many years. But since things has changed over there in the last, uh, I would say last five years, they are actually developing. They are building. They are actually trying to get it back to the, uh, I would say, back to the more or less financial independent country. Good luck for the Zimbabwe. I'm, I know many Zimbabwe guys and they're, they're really, really nice people. Montreal. Montreal is not a country, but it is a one big country, one big town in Canada. Malibu, Seattle. Seattle is actually a very famous con country I would not say the country, even they probably would like to be in the country, but they're not. Just a nice town where the many companies actually started on the Seattle, but, well, they started it. They actually blocked the using the plastics. And then comes to the world's, one of the world's biggest islands. I know that you Aussies, you don't like to call it your country as an island, but it is an island. It is covered by water. Really nice place. I like it. I, I went actually through in uh, completely Australia. And I like your small sister island over there called Tasmania. 
Tasmania is nice, really nice small island. And then, of course, and we talk about it in a few few towns in Canada, but the Canada in as a nation, they also block the plastic use over there. Then we come to the back to the Europe. In Hamburg is in Germany, big country, and they block the plastic. France, New Delhi. New Delhi, been there and saw that one, and it is actually huge, massive city. It is really, really, it doesn't matter what they try to do over there. It is kind of like a Mission Impossible 2003 or 2000 million tree episode. They do their best, but they cannot, unfortunately, pluck all those polluters. There's so many of them. Let's go back to the Africa. Marco, Rwanda, and then Big Apple. Yeah, you all know what is Big Apple. New York. Well, I hope that the New York and in many other countries in, in the USA would do a little bit more than just making in the political statements and uh, they make in uh, basically law and uh, they make in all kind of uh, legal issues regarding that one. But that's the only thing what they do. They do not actually do physically anything else except that making laws. And then they paid for those people who follow the laws. But like for the health oceans, uh, even I have contacted many production companies and... Um, Talking with a few of them in the via the emails, actually, but they do basically nothing. When it comes to the budgeting, in, they like to talk, but they don't actually like to be involved in anything. Which is, again, in the part of the U.S., unfortunately, the USA in the politicals. They just talk and do physically or publicly absolutely almost nothing. However, if your company would like to do something about it, please, you know how to contact me. There is a connection. Send me a note. Send me your contact details. We talk about more as we ready, basically, charge uh, starting on a five-year project on this one, which is going to be all film it. And as we all say it all the time, people can talk. People can take pictures and modify the pictures. But by filming and showing all the evidence on the film, non-edited films, is actually something what those people who actually are caught by polluting, they need to have a really, really good excuse. Why do they do that one as and has actually caught in the on camera. Having said that one, my name is Mark Reinen. I'm the founder of the Health Oceans. Please send me the funding and we will start working on Health Oceans. Remember, oceans cover 70% of our Earth where we are living. So we humans cover only 25%. If we are polluting in the, all our oceans, you know where it's going to all end. It's going to be mass suicide by the humans because we're all eating plastic. We have nothing else. We don't have any more, any kind of sea mammals to eat as they are covered in plastic. Have a nice day. I see you next time. Bye-bye.